Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Zine Director Premium Tutorial. So, we created this uh, retro television and now in this lesson we learn how we can uh, take it out in, uh, and render an external application like Blender, Unreal or Maya. So here I will right click on my graph and choose publish.spsr file. I will choose my folder where I want to publish this file. Okay, so I will make a folder okay and i will call this substance designer materials and here i will make uh, i will export it okay so it is exporting you can see that and then i will just don't worry about this it takes okay now it's exported because usually, you know, the white screen means like if I move my mouse or something, it becomes white, but it's okay. So it's uploaded now. Sorry, it's exported now. And let's go to Maya. Okay. So here, what I will do is that I will go to my Hypershade. Okay. And I will go to the settings here and make sure the substance setting i have render arnold set rest i will keep everything is same i will make a new tab and here what i'm going to do is that i will bring that retro television spsr file that we published from substance designer and i drag and dropped it here okay we got it now what I will uh, I have to do is that I will select this go down I have to turn all all, all of these on base color okay then normal roughness metallic okay height and ambient occlusion and opacity mask okay everything is on now i will create a shader network now when you create a shader network you will notice everything is connected except for the opacity so i have to bring that opacity from here okay and because opacity we created later on so it is not the part of template so you have to use out color and put this inside opacity so that will be fine. So what I'm going to do now is that I will take this and apply on the television. So I will select the whole television from here. Right click here and assign it. And let's minimize this. I'll turn on the textures and it is applied okay it will not show the height it will only show the height when we are going to render it so I will put a plane there uh, just to make a uh, ground okay so I can have at least a ground there and I will make a normal shader for the ground Tab, AI, standard surface. Okay, and I will change this to something like black, but no specular on it. So I will reduce the, I will increase the roughness there and reduce the specular level. So I'll select this, assign. Okay, and I will add a, a dome light effect on it. And then I will add a like HDRI to it. I'll go here. I have an HDRI which I have already downloaded. I will use it here. 
just this one. I will add it here. Okay, and I'll turn on the light from the settings. And let's see. Let's rotate this dome just to see where the light is acting good. So somewhere here. Later on, you can ch change and see where it looks better or where you need it more or no. Okay, so here. I will go to the Arnold. I'll select each and everything from the of the television. Arnold subdivision, then catalog, and iterations. This is all I'm doing in the attribute, so that this subdivision will be on uh, while I will be I'm doing the rendering. Now inside the uh, uh, dome light, I will reduce the the camera input so that it will be a little uh, darker. So let's render and see how it will look like. Okay. Later on, I will add lights. Okay, so this is uh, what I'm getting when rendering. Let's go to window and 3D manipulation on. I will turn it on. Okay, so pretty good. Okay, almost like what we are getting inside the Substance Designer. Okay, height is also working fine here. Opacity mask is also working fine. Okay, so let's go back to Substance Designer. And one more thing we can do here is that we can. Uh, can take all this and export this as a mesh and also all these I will go to this uh, wrench icon export all these uh, like files that I have like base color normal all these outputs I will export them okay in the same folder I have exported all these outputs and now I will go to scene export scene export and in the same folder, I will export it as a, let's put a different name so it won't overlap with the one I have. Television set mesh, save, and then export. So what it will do is that it will export, it will convert this whole thing into a mesh and export it. Now let's go back to Maya, go to file, import. I have added by the way these two lights so that it can create a good effect. And I will export it here, the same uh, mesh that we have uh, exported there. I have this, uh, like, uh, where is that? Yeah, Television XPX, I will import this one, and here it is. If you zoom in, you will notice this is your FBX file, oops. Okay, I think I downloaded, I uh, imported the wrong one. Let's delete this. Let's go back there, file, import. Okay, so I think it's, uh, it's in a different folder. Yeah, this is the folder. Yeah, this is the one that we exported, so import. Okay. Takes a little time. Okay, let's export it. Now I'll zoom out. And you can see this is the complete mesh. So Substance Designer can convert your whole design into a mesh. Okay, the plane it's uh, it's not right, so I have to make a new plane there. So I'll just go there, make a plane. Increase the size of the plane and apply the same material that I applied before to the plane. Okay, and same workflow, I use it for Substance Painter also, the one that I will use now. So I have added this, uh, the plane. I just made the plane, let's go here to the Hypershade. 
standard surface the one that i made it earlier i will apply this one black background black uh, ground okay now let's bring all those uh, outputs that we exported from substance designer inside uh, your maya okay but these are the ones that we ex exported all these i will bring them here okay you can see all of them are there i will select all of them okay arrange them in vertical like direction okay uh, sorry this button and then they all are arranged in vertical and i don't need ambient occlusion and the height map anymore because already the mesh is created and ambient occlusion it will use the same from the maya so i will go to the uh, standard surface Okay, and I will take the out color of this opacity, put this inside the opacity, and I have roughness. I will put this roughness inside the specular roughness, and I will take this television base color and I will input this inside the base color of the television. Now I have this television, a retro television metallic, and I will put this the R of this in the metal like metalness, and this is the te uh, like re retro television normal. I will make a normal map, okay, and then I'll plug this inside the normal map and take this to the normal camera, okay. So I will take this and I will apply on the whole material that I have it here right click and assign okay and here we go okay so it is clipping because of the camera setting you can uh, like change the camera setting so it won't clip so now I will go to the Arnold and try to render this see how it looks like okay take time okay now we got it Yep, same as we got the uh, like on the previous result. So this is how you can render inside Maya. I, and the, this is the workflow of rendering in Maya. Two different workflows, one without the mesh and one with the mesh. So this is how you will get the result out of it. And we are done with our first premium tutorial how to create a retro television inside substance designer and thanks a lot for becoming member of my premium membership plan and also i would like to thank you all for joining this whole series and i'm really thankful for all your support and i have to receive your support continuously I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications I'm about to create. If you have liked my video, so please hit the like button. And if you have any queries or questions, then please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And one request I have and that is I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them. So please. If anyone is doing that and you find someone doing the same, then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me. So I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all. Therefore, help me to get new subscribers. And now I will take off and take care guys till we meet in the next class. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on the Interactive, your own training institute. I will be back with another exciting new premium tutorial series.